Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make that shawl you saw in the pictures. Now that those pictures really didn't do that shawl much justice because um, the yarn is a very good, gorgeous yarn that I chose. Um, the shawl, you know, the shawl pattern is pretty too. It'll look good in any yarn that you use. But I particularly love brown, and I really love blinging out yarn. And this one has it. It's like a dark mahogany brown with a gold sparkles all throughout of it so pretty you can see the picos there on the end so i just wanted to show you what it looks like um i don't always make my shawls as big as some people for the reason i'm i'm pretty short i'm five three and um for tutorial purposes uh so i can get it done and start on another one but if i stretch it out it stretches uh all the way across my arms are completely stretched out and it is as long as i could stretch and this is what it looks like my gosh, that's a pretty, pretty yarn. I can't get over the yarn. I can't. I said the same thing when I unboxed it. I just never knew what I was going to do with it. You guys want to go ahead and get started on this bad boy? It's going to be beautiful in any color, and I can't wait to see yours. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram also um, so you can show me. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at it so you can see. Now, it's not a hard shawl. I would consider it very beginner friendly. The only stitch that would be an intermediate stitch is the Pico stitch, but I will go over it with you very, very well. Um, I am determined that if you are a beginner, that I can teach you well enough that you'll be able to do that Pico, because trust me, it's not hard at all to do that. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much um, double crochets. Just done in different ways. Chain spaces, single crochets. Now this shawl measures from across the top point to point about 55 inches. And then from from the top point down to the bottom uh, point is um, approximately 40 inches. So that's the size of mine. Remember you can make yours bigger if you want. I think the Pico edging made a nice edge on it. You can definitely leave that off. You can use fringe. You could use no edging at all. You single crochet. Whatever edging you desire. But I, I thought I'd go with Picos this time. Make it a little bit simple since the shawl was pretty simple itself. Remember it is very beginner friendly. Trust me. As long as you know how to do the basic stitches such as double crochet, single crochet, you can do it and I'm going to show you how right now. Okay, so the yarn I use for this project is called Perfection Lights. It's by Kramer Yarns. This is um this is a company based in the US. They spin their own yarns. So it's 28% domestic merino, 70% acrylic and 2% polyester. It is classified as a medium weight 4. Um I see the color I have here is called copper lights. Oh, does that name fit it? Look at that sparkle in that. I'm in love with the yarn. Anyways, there's 200 yards per uh, ball, and I used almost all of three. This is what I have left of my third one. So approximately 600 yards. Now, if you're going to make it bigger, or you're going to add fringe, or a different type of edging than me, you will need uh, more yarn than than what I said. Um, I think that's it. Oh, if you don't have this yarn, any medium weight number four will work just fine. You don't have to use this yarn. So um, any four weight you got um, in your stash, I'm sure will look just as beautiful. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, as I pre previously mentioned, this is a very easy, uh, pretty easy pattern to follow. You want to go ahead and start off with a slip knot on your hook, as we always do. Now I'm going to work a chain of three. I'm going to slip stitch back into that beginning chain one there and form a really small ring. I apologize, the yarn is dark. Like that. Now we're going to chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So we're going to be working through this tiny, tiny ring right here. And we want to work three double crochets through that ring. Okay. 
So there's one. Two. And there's three. Now we're going to chain two, which will be the point of our shawl. Now we're going to work through the center of the ring again and work three more double crochets. One. two and three so at the end of round one you'll have six double crochets and three in one chain two space okay so we're gonna start row two chain one and turn out work every row always starts the same no matter what row you're on you always remember that chain one does not count as a stitch you always go into the very very first stitch and work three double crochets. It does not matter what row, remember, you are on. Every row starts with three double crochets. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And now we're at our chain two space. In the chain two space, we are going to work two double crochets. So you go right through that chain two space and work two doubles. That's one and two. And then you want to chain two. And you want to go back into that chain two space and work two more doubles. So that would be the point of our shawl. Again, we're going to go ahead and work a double crochet into the next two stitches. And then our last stitch, we're going to go ahead. The last stitch is always the same, no matter what row you're on. This. Go ahead and put three double crochets into that last stitch. The only time our first and last row will be different is when we do our finishing row. Just like that. So now you have a total of 14 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start a row three. Now, row three will, it starts the repeat rows for the shawl. So it's very easy repeat rows. So we're going to start row three by chaining one and turning our work. Now, remember, we always start off with three double crochets into the very, very first double crochet. So there's one. two and three now we are going to skip two stitches so skip skip and we're going to put two double crochets into the next and that is the repeat of the row and so we get to our chain two space again skip two stitches skip skip and two doubles into the next we're not chaining in between we're just skipping two and putting two doubles into the next. Now, if you, you'll keep doing that until you get to your chain two space. So when you're further along, you'll have more further to go. But since I'm only here, I'm already at my chain two space. The stitch before your chain two space will always have two double crochets in, in it like that. And now we are going to work in our chain two space and we're going to go into the space and we're going to work two double crochets. So there's one, there's two, and then we're going to chain two and we're going to go ahead and work two more double crochets into that same chain two space. So that's the point right there. Now we're going to repeat over here what we did over here. So we ended with two double crochets into that last stitch. So now we have to start with two double crochets into the first stitch. And then we will skip two stitches, skip, skip, and two doubles into the next. And you would repeat that until you get to the end of the row. skip two 
two doubles into the next, skip two, two doubles into the next, all the way until you get to the end. So here I am at the end. This is my last stitch. I put three stitches here, you can see them. So I'm gonna skip two, but in my last stitch, I'm going to put three double crochets. It's always three in the last, always three into the first. And that will end row three. Just like that. Row four, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. Gonna start out three double crochets right here into that very first stitch. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to chain two, skip two, so we skip these two, in this space, right in between these stitches, we're going to double crochet right through that space. And then we're going to repeat that until we get to our chain, to the point of our, our shawl. We're going to chain two, go in between our next uh, sets of two double crochet, so right here, and double crochet and keep repeating that chain two until you get to your chain two space so the more rows you do the more uh times you'll have to double crochet in between your chain two spaces but i'm already here so here's my chain two space and i have four double crochets but there's no space in between them but that's okay you see the four double crochets what you do here is go pull them apart and double crochet right there. Just like that. Chain two. And then we go into the chain two space. Skip those two stitches into the chain two space. And we work two doubles. Chain two. And two more double crochets into that same chain two space and that again forms our point okay now we need to make this side match this side so we will start off by chaining two and right here is four double crochets but there is no space in between them like there is the other ones so what you do is just pull them apart two here and two here and go right in between like that and double crochet chain two double crochet into the next chain or into the next uh, space there's no chain space but in between these next two set of double crochets I'm just going right into the space I'm not going to into any stitch double crochet and we repeat this until we get to the end chain two right here go in between the next set of two double crochets the space double crochet and you will continue doing that until you get to the end now i'm at the end already but if you are further into the pattern like i mentioned you'll have further to go until you reach the end you just keep repeating that and when you get to the end you want to chain two there's three stitches here because this is our last stitch. We want to skip two and put three double crochets into the last stitch. And that will end row five. I'm sorry, row four. Jumped ahead of myself. That'll end row four. Now we're gonna start row five, which is the last row of the repeat. So it's just a three row repeat. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. Three double crochets into the very first stitch. So there's one, two, and three. Now we're gonna work one double crochet 
into every double crochet. So we'll put one into these first two double crochets. And then two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces. So just go right through the space and work two double crochets like that. And then here's a double crochet. You need to double crochet on in that. Double cro two double crochets into the next chain two space. So row five is just one double crochet in every double crochet and two double crochets in every chain two space. And okay, so we do some we do this until we get to our chain two space or our point of our shawl and we do something a little bit different when we get to the point of the shawl this time I'm coming to the end here here's my point of my shawl I'm going to go ahead and double crochet one time into each of the last two stitches now on this round and this round only in the chain two space we only put one double crochet, a chain of two, and one more double crochet. Now that is the only round you do it on is when you repeat round five, the, the all double crochet round. Other than that, it's, it's always two doubles, chain two, two doubles. But this one is one double, chain two, one double. Now we're just gonna continue and repeat putting one double crochet into every stitch and two double crochets into every chain space until we get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row, row five and I'm at my last stitch and I want to end by putting three double crochets into my last stitch. Now that is it. Now it's just a repeat of rows three, four, and five. A very, very easy repeat. And I will put timestamps below in the comment section. Um, I'll timestamp row three, four, and five. So now uh, we just finished row five. We'll be starting row six, which is actually a repeat of row three. So look in the comments for the timestamps. It'll be the very first comment. That way you don't have to mess around trying to fast forward and find out what you're doing. But I'm going to continue on until I get my shawl as big as I want it to be. All right, I'm back. It was fast, wasn't it? It's like a split second and I was done. <laughs> now, um, I did a total of 32 rows, and that is starting from row one, way up here. 32. I ended in a row of just straight double crochet. Now, you can make yours bigger. I don't always make my shawls huge, but a lot of people like them a lot bigger. So, you just keep uh, continue repeating until your shawl is as big as you want it to be. Make sure you end on a double crochet row like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now I'm going to put on some picots for a finishing edge. If you do not want to do that, you are feel free to leave them off. If you know of another edge you want to use, uh, you can use any type of edge you want. Um, basic single crochet edge. You can leave it the way it is. You can add fringe. It's your shawl. However you want it to look at the end is completely up to you. But, but do remember, you can make it bigger than this. <clears throat> okay, so I went ahead and I'm going to... Um, at the end of row 32 there, I just did my three double crochets there into that last stitch. And I am going to... <clears throat> <clears throat> chain one and turn my work so I'm going to start my picots now this is going to be my final row row 33 so I'm going to go back into the very first stitch and move that out of the way so you can see a little bit better I am going to single crochet into it one time like that and now I'm going to go to the next stitch and I'm going to single crochet into it and then I'm going to do a pico. 
So what I'm going to do is chain three. And now I am going to slip stitch. I like to go in between the side of that single crochet here that we just did. Those two little loops on the side. Slip stitch into that. And then it makes a little ball there. So I'm going to repeat what we just did. So I'm going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. A single crochet into the next stitch. And now on this stitch, I will do my pico. So I will chain three. Apologize, my yarn is a little dark. And then I come back down and you see some people slip stitch into the top of the single crochet. And that's fine, you can do that if you learned it that way. I always go into the side of it. I think it holds the pico better. So I go through those two stitches right there and I slip stitch. Just like that. And now I'm gonna repeat again. I'm gonna go into the next stitch and single crochet. The next stitch, single crochet, and I'll do my pico on the single crochet. So I'll chain three. Come back down to the single crochet and right here on this side, these two side stitches, I grab those loops right there and then I slip stitch. Repeat it again, single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And we pico on this one, so we chain three. And then we come back down to that single crochet that we just did. And I always, like I said, I grab this first loop here and the side loop of the single crochet. And then slip stitch. Now this is a pattern we're gonna repeat until we get to the point of the shawl. So single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, and a pico on this one. So chain three, Come back down to that single crochet and slip stitch. So I'm going to continue this and if you turn it around to the front side of your work, I guess, or whichever you want the front side to be, that's what it starts to look like. But I'm going to continue this until I get to the chain two space of my point and I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do when we get there. Okay, so I have made it to my chain two space. I did a pico here and I have one stitch left and I wanna go ahead and single crochet in it. So your last stitch before your chain two space should just be a regular single crochet. Now we're gonna be working into the chain two space. So we're gonna go into the chain two space and single crochet and we're gonna work a pico here on this single crochet. So we're gonna chain three Come back down and work our pico. Still working into the chain two space, we're gonna do one single crochet. You might have to slide them over a bit. And now we're gonna do another single crochet and we're going to work a pico on this one. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the chain two space again and then another single crochet and then we'll do a pico and then that will finish out what we're going to do into the chain two space so our next stitch will be a regular single crochet into the next stitch so that was our chain two space it was a single crochet with a pico, a regular single crochet. A single crochet with a pico, a regular single crochet. A single crochet with a pico, and then we ended, we started, or we started our next row with a regular single crochet into the next stitch. So we're just gonna start again. The next stitch will be a single crochet with a pico, and do what we did on the other side until we get back to, this, to, to the end, actually.
and single crochet into the next single crochet into the next pico so we're doing the same thing we did on the other side we're just matching our sides up single crochet into the next single crochet into the next and it gets the pico so chain three and slip stitch down here so I'm going to continue this until I get back up to the top of my shawl I have made it to the end I did a pico in my very last stitch or I have I did a pico and I have one stitch left so that should be just a regular single crochet now let's tie off and hide all our remaining tails and then we'll take a look at it there she is beautiful that yarn made that shawl if you ask me but I'm a brown lover so but I think it'll look good in any yarn that you choose so here's the pico edging here's our point so it looks pretty good I like it I hope you enjoyed my tutorial don't forget to check out my other ones hundreds of them hundreds 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 and beyond hundreds of crochet tutorials anything you want to make I have it and I have multiples of it I promise so uh, check out uh, my channel hit subscribe hit like leave me a comment below what do you think of this shot do you like it let me know come follow me on instagram and facebook thanks everybody for watching have a good day and please stay safe